Hello and welcome to the video. That looks quite bad, doesn't it? I got bitten this morning by something on my chin and yeah, ignore that. Today we're going to be talking about this brand new Ford Fiesta ST line. This is a courtesy car um, loaned to me by the guys at Miltech over in Derby. Um, if you didn't know already, my Porsche GT4... So loud. My Porsche Cayman GT4 718 is currently at Miltech up in Derby, um, getting a brand new back box installed. Big thanks and shout out to the guys at Miltech for that and inviting me down or up um, to get that installed. We hit a little snag um, and the car needed to stay overnight um, to get that kind of sorted and get the back box installed. So as a courtesy car, Miltech lended me their development Fiesta ST line. So this is a one litre EcoBoost um, Fiesta ST line. Um, I've had this for a couple days and then I will be going back up to Miltech um, to swap this back over for my Porsche GT4. I say this is a development car and what do I mean by that? Well, it has a GPF or OPF back Miltech exhaust with um, the Maxton diffuser on it as well. So you can see very nicely here. So if you have a Fiesta um, and you want to kind of make it a little bit more fruity, make it sound a little bit deeper, you can get a Miltech um, OPF back um, system. Now, a normal stock Ford Fiesta, normally it, it comes out at the back with just one exhaust pipe. Um, but this one developed by Miltech um, has two exhaust pipes and you can buy it as a package um, with the Miltech, uh, with the Maxton diffuser. Um, so you can have it as a package and you get two exhaust pipes and the diffuser so they kind of fit two holes. Obviously, um, if you just wanted to stick with the stock diffuser, you can also buy a Miltech uh, GPF back system, which only comes out one single exhaust. Hope that makes sense. Miltech kind of explained it to me about five times. Um, basically, you've got one system, you've got one option with one tip coming out. You've got an option with two tips and the Maxton um, diffuser as a bundle. You can do the one tip, and then if you want to upgrade later on, um, you basically purchase just the second tip um, and they can kind of connect it in. It's like a T pipe. So they, they, they kind of take that, that tip off and then put the two tips on together. Hope that makes sense. If you don't understand me, um, talk to Miltech. <laughs> Go into their DMs, um, give, give them a message or whatever, and they'll probably explain it much better than I have. Anyway, today's video is about this car. This is the first Ford um, I've ever actually driven and the for first Ford Fiesta I've ever driven as well. And I just kind of want to give my first impressions and review. If you didn't know already, my Porsche Cayman GT4 is an absolutely lovely car. It's a manual just like this car, but it is an experience every time I drive it, good and bad. Sometimes if you just kind of want to potter down to the shops, um, go get some fuel, go pick some friends up, go see family, the GT4 is a little bit too much for that. It can be a daily, um, but it's not a great daily. It's loud in the cabin. It's way too low to the ground. Its storage space is pretty good actually, um, and it can only take one passenger with me, a two-seater car. So this has actually been a massive pleasure and a very enjoyable car to have for the last couple of days. Granted, I work from home, so I haven't actually been driven it, driving it that much, um, but it's been very welcome to have one better MPG. This has got me 55 miles to the gallon um, when I have been driving it around and about. It is a hybrid, um, which means that it's not a true hybrid, which means that you can't drive it around in electric only mode. But what happens is when you brake, it charges the battery. And when you put your foot down in kind of sport mode and want to go for a little bit of fun, it uses the battery to give you a little bit of nippy extra boost and power. And then obviously if you're just cruising down the motorway, um, it kind of combines the petrol and the battery together to give you very good MPG. A smaller fuel tank with current fuel prices as well meant that I've just filled this up and it meant that I spent 61 pounds on a full tank versus what would be a hundred pounds on the GT4. 
and also on the GT4, I get 20, around about 20 to 23 miles to the gallon versus this welcomed 55 miles to the gallon. So this has been absolutely fantastic. I wanna give you my first impressions of kind of driving a, a Ford Fiesta um, in, in kind of comparison to my Porsche GT4. And maybe that the, the, the Porsche has been the first car that's ever kind of made me want a second daily, a second car to go alongside the Porsche to kind of put the miles on, get the better MPG, etc., etc. And maybe this could be a car to add to the garage as a second car. So let's have a little walk around inside. I did look online to, to look at the, the name of this color. It's absolutely lovely. I really, really like it. It's like a baby light blue, silvery kind of color. I couldn't find it. It's not on the Ford website. Um, so if anyone knows, please comment down below and let me know. But I do really like this color. Inside, because it's the ST line, um, you get kind of these little bit cooler, um, almost racier inserts very very comfortable seats we've got car play um, a manual gearbox it doesn't have auto blip so when i've been driving around in this it was i'm so used to driving the gt4 and auto blip and basically going from like sixth down to second and the car rev matches for me picks the perfect gear for me i've had to kind of recalibrate my brain and and drive properly again um, and and downshift downshift kind of drop drop down the gears at the right perfect rev range and speed You've, you've even got Bang & Olf, Olfsen, I might have pronounced that incorrectly, speakers. CarPlay's been great. It's been very, very comfortable to drive. And it's been so quiet to drive on the motorway as well. Without the engine right behind you in the seat, but behind the seat within the car, the engine being at the front, it's just been really nice to drive. I've been able to have a conversation with my passengers without having to shout um, as I'm driving down the road. So... Without further ado, I think that's quite a nice kind of quick overview of the car. Let's hop in, go for a little spin, um, and then I can talk a little bit about how it feels to drive. It's got all the gadgets being the, you know, the latest Ford Fiesta. It's even got swig, swiggly lines on the windshield and that's the, uh, the heated windshield function, I guess, for those icy mornings. I think when I jumped in this car, the kind of the first thing I really noticed was the quality of the materials. Having been in a luxury car for, for, for such a long time, um, you don't realize a lot of the money is spent going into materials on the interior. I open the glove box here and it just drops open. Um, in other cars, luxury cars, you open, you open the glove box and they, they slowly open. And it's kind of things like that that you don't realize until you hop back into things like this. And it's, it's been nice to kind of recalibrate my brain um, and just kind of realize how lucky I am to have driven and be able to own some other cars. The gearbox is, you know, light. Uh, um, but it's actually really, really nice compared to my Porsche GT4. 
my GT4 is also a manual and it's probably the best manual gearboxes and they also make the best automatic gearboxes in the world so when you shift and go into different gears on the Porsche it slots into each gear perfectly you've got rev matching aka auto blip where it will pick the gear for you I can drop from sixth down to third and it will just pick the gear and it will be perfectly fine oh. I'm going to downshift a second here just for the sake of it. Oh. Oh. Driving this again, it doesn't have auto blip or not to my knowledge. So I've had to kind of recalibrate and retrain myself how to drive a manual car. But it, I have not been changing gears and kind of having that jolty feeling. So it's, it's, the clutch is very, the biting point is very nice and it, it goes into gear very nicely. It's not been stressful to drive this car at all. Weirdly, I've been in an older Ford Fiesta before and this car feels a little bit more like an SUV. I feel like I'm sitting quite high up versus the old cars, which are, I guess were smaller hatchbacks and you kind of sat a little bit lower. I guess that kind of gave you more of a sporty vibe over this generation of the Ford Fiesta and I guess Miltec are kind of aware of that a little bit or they're developing uh, Miltec exhaust systems for Ford Fiestas because there's obviously quite a big market for it so this being a OPF GPF back system kind of makes it just a little bit deeper it doesn't have valves and so when I switch from normal eco and sport driving modes the car sounds exactly the same I will admit I've never actually heard or driven a stock Miltec, uh, a stock Ford Fiesta car, so I can't tell you the increased volume or the differences between the two. But it's nice to kind of what I am hearing of my first experiences is a nice kind of hum coming from the car itself. Obviously, with the Maxton um, diffuser and the twin exhaust systems, it makes the car look a little bit more sporty. But yeah. It's been an actually a fantastic car and, and, and as I've said in other videos, the GT4 is the first car that's ever made me kind of think about getting a second car as a daily. I don't want to stick loads and loads of miles on the GT4 and the MPG is pretty frankly shocking. I want to use it for weekend only and for fun. And yes, I do work from home, so most of the time it's used for weekends anyway, but for the odd, odd occasion journeys like I mentioned before, it would be nice to have a different car instead and I'm actually quite reluctant to be handing this car back to Miltec in the next couple of days because it's been a joy to drive. The When you put your foot down, I'll try and do it here, obviously there's no water blip. When you put your foot down, the electric motor just kind of gives you a little bit of extra torque instantly and it makes it quite nippy and fun. can really drag you can really rag these cars it's not my car so I'm not going to but you can really rag these cars to the limit and not really speed that much either and have quite a lot of fun so again that's a nice welcomed addition so yeah I'm, I'm reluctant to kind of hand this car back to Miltec because it's been it's been great to drive it's actually been really really enjoyable to have it's nice to have the back seats I can chuck stuff in the back I miss having a hatchback, the 140 to M2 um, jump. I'm, I, I, I missed having a hatchback and it's quite nice to have that again. So whilst I'm very much looking forward to getting back into my GT4 and having that, every time I drive that car, having an experience, this makes driving very dull um, on the motorway, but equally, sometimes you need that. You need to just get yourself from A to B and just potter on the motorway at 70 miles an hour getting 55 mpg so with that it's quite an odd review um, would i buy one of these cars as a second car as a daily yes i would um, what are these cars like to finance probably about 300 pounds a month i think i would probably look at maybe getting the previous generation just because tech wise i'm not too bothered that much again it's just a car to get me from a to b so would i buy one yes i would has it been a fantastic car? Even though it's on the other end of the market in terms of cars, it's still been enjoyable to drive. 
it's still been a pleasure. Thank you very much, Miltech. Big shout out to them again for lending this car to me um, as a courtesy car. If you haven't watched the video of me getting the, uh, the Miltech installed, click up here or here to watch it. They also lend me their BMW G82 M4 competition, 650 bhp that has, and that's got a full Miltech system turbo back installed. If you haven't watched that, click up here to watch it as well. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Video is probably getting quite long now. Um, I will see you later in the next video where I probably review the Miltech and do some proper before and after comparisons back to sports cars having fun in an ex in an experience in a car that gives you an experience I'll see you later